All right, so I had a couple questions about my uh, my wallpapers I've been entering into the uh, precise pangolin thing. And, um, you know, one of them had to do with the, the textures I was using, right? Particularly uh, this one right here. Let me go and make it a little bit bigger. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but maybe if you zoom in a little bit. This little, like, stringy looking texture, right? It looks kind of like sandpaper. Uh, it's not really a texture. Like, it's not like it's something I downloaded off the web and, and put, like, an overlay. Uh, I just made it through GIMP. Um, it's really easy to do. If you're looking for that kind of a papery kind of look, it's not too hard to, to do at all. Um, you can It can all be done just within GIMP. And that's kind of a cool thing about it, because sometimes when you uh, download these, uh, like, texture packs, I guess, you might run into some, like, licensing problems, I guess, if you, uh, if you mass distribute it or whatever. But anyways, let's go File, New. Uh, that's my uh, canvas size right here, if you can see that or not. Press OK. Let's just make a base real quick. I'll do something similar to this one that I made uh, a while ago. Uh, uh, click on your color thing. Let's, let's go ahead and um, select this darker uh, uh, purple, I guess. Let's drag it in. And let's go transparent layer. Press OK. Get your circle ellipse tool. And pull from the top down, like so. All right. Select invert. Okay, and uh, let's go to select feather. For me, I'm going to feather about a thousand. Um, depending on your canvas size, it'll be a little bit less. Press OK. Let's go ahead and uh, make the secondary color a little bit darker, but not too much. Press OK. Let's drag that in. All right. Select none. Let's make another transparent layer. And let's go ahead and um, let me zoom out just a little bit. All right. Let's go ahead and make a, a what's it called? A, uh, a plasma layer. Filters. Render. Clouds. Plasma. And, um, you know, the default seed is fine, or what do you want to call it? Um, you can make another seed if you wanted to. That's fine. It doesn't really matter, really, but, you know. And, come on. There we go. Now, to make that uh, papery, kind of like stringy look, um, just go to Filters. I believe it's Map, Displace. See how it says 2020? On the Y displacement, just uh, lower that down, maybe like negative, I don't know, 70, maybe 80. And the X displacement, just raise it up fairly high. 206 is, that eh, looks about right. There we go. Press OK. And the outer edges are going to get really bad. They're going to get kind of warped. As you can see. Now let's go ahead and uh, fix that problem by just basically making the layer a little bit bigger. Let's get the uh, scale tool. Click in here, make sure the chain is checked. Just make it a little bit larger. Press scale. Now grab the move tool. Let's go ahead and move it in the center, I guess. Right about there. Okay. Go to let's see uh, colors, desaturate. That's fine. Press OK. Um, let's try soft light. See how it looks. Kind of see how you get that nice little textury kind of thing going on. So that kind of hope that answers the uh, the question. Um, how I did that. It's real simple. Um, of course, you know you can make it bigger and then displace it again or change the direction of the displacement with the Y and the X. Um, or if you want, you, just, you can just simply uh, flip it if you wanted to with the flip tool. Go that way if you wanted to. You know what I mean? So anyways, um, I'm not going to bother saving it. So anyways, thanks for watching and uh, see you guys later. Let me find the damn thing. There it is. <laughs> Alright, see ya.